This video is about your personal internal world and how it reflects onto your external world, which is three-dimensional reality. You are the boss, you are the master, and you are the creator of it, and you can change it anytime. This is you who decides how you're going to see and experience your three-dimensional world because it's all made in your head through your perception in your four-dimensional reality which is your internal world so this is the boss baby you are not in this world but this world is in you you are the painter of your own world Welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and on my channel you can find everything about mind and body. I do show you fitness routines, I do take you through daily cleansings and so much more. This video is a full expansion to the video that was already made. It's a short little video that is called You are not in this world, this world is in you. So let's get to it, baby. What does it actually mean, this world is in you? It means simply that. Everything you're experiencing around you through your sight, through your ears, through your tastes, through your touch, through your smell, through your feelings and emotions is processed and interpreted by your brain. Your brain made a full picture and whatever you feel about it comes through all the memories stored in your subconsciousness. This is how you received all the knowledge about things that you see and identify with and then you made decision of how to actually perceive it. So you are the one who makes a full picture about it. So how the conversion happens? Your consciousness allows you to observe things. When you're looking at something, this is your consciousness, which is your awareness that allows you to observe. Your subconsciousness puts what you're looking at into the departments. It identifies with the objects. This is all the knowledge that you received throughout the years that you learned about the object that you're looking at. Your super consciousness, however, gives you a form of belief about the feeling that you're building out of what you're looking at. This is your belief. You know the knowledge about the thing, but you also have a super belief about I'm going to put a color on it. I'm going to decide how I'm going to look at it. All three together gives you a bigger picture about your observation. That is called your internal understanding of the external things that you're looking at. This is how you already converted it from something that you looked at and something you made decision about how am I looking at it? What feelings I'm experiencing by looking at it? Is it good or bad? You are the one, you are the one who gave it color, you are the painter, and you made the decision, how will I feel about this right now? So, all the external that you're taking already, you made decision about how am I going to mask it? How am I going to reveal it to myself? So whatever you're looking at, you can always recolor. Because if you know that you're looking at something bad and absolutely terrible, for example, you can decide that it is not terrible. I am going to accept it and I'm going to unlearn the knowledge about this. If it is terrible and it sounds terrible, I am going to take the sound out of it and I'm going to withdraw the color out of it and I'm going to repaint it and say, it is just a thing, you know? And this is my internal magic glasses, the super consciousness that told me that I can look at it like this because I can, I am the master, I have made the decision. Why would we do that? Isn't it completely crazy to recolor things in your mind? Well, I don't think it is, because in the end of the day, you're the one who has to live with it, you know? And if you have to live with it, and if you have to experience it, and if you have to build feelings around it, you're the one who have to decide how it's going to go. In the end of the day, 
we are awake for 720 minutes a day and we have to enjoy it so that's why to recolor it and to reimagine it or to say what colors I'm gonna see it with, what sounds I'm going to hear it with. You are the one who is going to redo it to your own likings. And that's where super conscious makes difference. Super conscious is not only you are aware where consciousness allows you to be aware. Super consciousness actually makes it likable. It makes it enjoyable. Yes, it is delusional, but you're the one who makes decision to be delusional because it is so much better. It gives you so much more excitement. So it's better to relieve that in the better colors and better feelings rather than to perceive it as it is. You're already perceiving it as it is, but you're just giving it a little more positive feeling about it. Number two, you exist. What is actually your existence and how we look at that? Why do we have to look at that? You probably think, oh, it's, she's bucking mad talking about our existence and blah, blah, blah. You exist, you exist. But your existence is so important. In the end of the day, the concept of I am, it is already a magic. It is a miracle. I mean, just being there in the moment, the most powerful thing. Without your existence, observation does not happen. As simple as that. If you are there and you are the observer, you're giving an energy to something you're looking at. You're giving it energy and without you in this equation, there will be no reaction at all. Your existence is everything. Your existence allows things to exist in your world. You bring it into your world with you in that scenario. So you exist without you. This world doesn't matter. Without you, whatever happens in this world doesn't exist because you're not looking at it. You're not hearing it. You're not observing it. So putting whatever exists before you is absolutely unnecessary. Especially when it completely spoils your day or makes you sad or makes you unhappy. The feelings of being unhappy make your cortisol rise, you know, your hormones go against you. You're getting stressed, you're getting sad, you're wasting your time, your body is listening to you because it has no direction. Your subconsciousness has no direction. Everything is ran by your consciousness, is the moment that allows you to see things, and your super consciousness that gives everything color. So you exist, and without you, this world doesn't matter, meaning that you are so precious in this equation that whatever happens in this world, you are the only one who makes it happen. You exist and without you, this world doesn't matter. Comes from the notion of quantum physics. You are the observer and if you observe something happening, you actually identify with it, then it happened. But without you looking at it, it could have happened or could have not. And you would never know. But because you looked at it, you gave it an acknowledgement that you looked at it and it happened. That's why you made decision that whatever happened and how it happened comes from conversion in your mind with all the colors giving and emotions and feelings giving that is it happen good or is it happen okay or is it happen bad you are the one who made the decision of whatever exists in this world is because you are the one who is looking at it gives it opportunity to exist for you so where are we going with it? Why does it actually matter? Your existence before everything else. Because you are the master who decides to perceive something or not to perceive. As a matter of fact, if you look at something and you perceive that the way you perceive that comes from your decision to what feelings you want to experience in the end. This is where your superconsciousness comes to place and decides for you. 
what beliefs are we carrying today? Am I going to play it nice or am I going to play it sad or am I going to play it, uh, it's kind of okay, you know, I can go through it or I'm going to make it exciting. You can perceive things in a completely different manner. You look at the thing, you saw it, but you are more important. You are more important because you are number one and you are the one who have to live with it to the end of the day. So you're going to make it very positive. And that's why we're going to recolor it. We're going to withdraw the sound of it and we're going to make it the way we like it. This is where our super consciousness comes to place. And that's why it is very, very important because you're the one who has to feel fantastic. 720 minutes a day, you have to feel fantastic because it is about you we're talking about. It's your mind and your body super connected together. It's making the experience awesome. As per George Berkeley's famous saying, to be is to be perceived. So whatever you perceive, you give it existence. And whatever you don't perceive, doesn't exist. So the concept of existence is based on learned knowledge about the object. You learn it in some way. If you look at the object and you never saw it before, you don't know what you're looking at. It's as simple as that. When you're looking at something that you've never seen before and you don't know anything about it, you probably won't even notice it. You will see there is something in there, but you won't know what you're looking at. You just will go past. So that is very important to practice when you're looking at things and you really know what you're looking at, you know? It's something unpleasant, but you can always decide to unlearn it. I know it is unpleasant, but my super consciousness is telling me that I have to wear pink glasses today and feel great. So I'm going to give it an existence as a passive thing that it is there. I know it's there, but I'm going to look at it from half cup full. I'm going to pass it by and say, well, I didn't see it. As simple as that, I didn't see it. You unlearned feeling about it. Your superconscious feeling gave yeah. you a bigger picture about your day. And you thought, well, it's a little thing, you know, it's there, but it does not affect me because I am the one who decides it to not be there for me today. As simple as that. So let's move on to the third concept of, of your internal world. You are aware and without your awareness, this world doesn't matter. So your awareness, your consciousness, your ability to look at something and identify with it, it draws your attention to something. And without your attention, things disappear. If you don't give attention to something, they simply will not be there for you. Your attention is your energy. When you put so much energy into something by noticing something and put your attention to it and focusing on it, you are growing it in size. And vice versa, when you remove your attention of it and you say, you know, like little children, when they do something and instead of, you know, bashing into them and trying to spoil their mood or accentuate the situation on something that you don't want them to do, you shift the attention to something nice. This is exactly what it is with us. With the attention, focus occurs. You, it's like a pointer, it's pointing a thing. And with this, you focus even more on it. So without your attention or your awareness about this very thing, you lose the focus, the color drops, the sounds go quieter, and it is no longer there in the size of your imagining. So it's an amazing tool when you are aware of something and it is not nice, you know, you take the attention out of it and your awareness dissipates. It dissipates. It is natural, natural process. It is as simple as that. You're giving significance to something. You put your mind to it. If you give significance to something, you make it bigger. And if you take significance out of it, you make it smaller. You are the master. You are the one who makes decision to do it or not. You are the one who decides, is it worthy for me to draw attention to it? Or I am going to decide that it's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it. As simple as that. I am 
is so much more important. I am, my well-being, my feeling good is so much more important than focusing on something that makes me and drives me mad. I will take my intention out of it and I will leave it alone and I will shift my focus to something else and I put my awareness to something else that makes me so much more happy. My superconscious will tell me I'm going to focus on something absolutely amazing. I've got this thing in my head. I am focusing on achieving some other goal, you know, and I'm going to draw my attention fully to it and I'm going to achieve it and I'm going to loop it because pendulum at the end of the day, the repetition of things are impressing your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind has no direction, such as your body has no direction. The direction comes from your consciousness is your awareness your attention and your super consciousness telling it what is actually on the map. This is where we're going to go. That's where attention is going to go to. Our energy is going to be directed towards this. That's how it happens. So if you decide to be present in this moment to engage with this that you're looking at and put your awareness into it and attention and everything, this thing is going to, you know, grow in size. And if you take your engagement out of it, if you already identify with the thing and go, I know, I know it's not good. I'm just going to, you know, take direction to a different way. And you're going to withdraw your attention. You, your energy is going to flow a different direction. You are out of this scenario completely. You are no longer there. You completely went different direction. As simple as that. So moving on towards fourth aspect of your internal world is you are a creator. You create. Without your attention and energy, this world, Allah, things and people in it have no power towards you. You create what has power towards you and what has not. So it all comes down to focus on our personal reality. We decide what to focus on and we decide how to empower things. Empowering things, meaning putting some practice to something, you know, putting significance to something. Significance can be put to anything. It could be put to people. It could be put to things, you know, to objects, to subjects, to people. So why are we talking about this is because when you use your creation, your genius, your super conscious, when you making it your way, you decide how you look at the person, for example. You are the master of your own game. and You're creating rules and descriptives for everything you see and experience. So you meet people and people could be probably somewhat, you know, disrespectful towards you or they expressing themselves in some certain way that makes you upset. You can certainly ignore this thing completely because you know better you made your own rules and you don't have to judge anything you see or hear or you know you smell or taste when it comes to people you can decide how you're going to describe it for yourself when you look at people and when you're experiencing their behaviors towards you you don't have to judge you don't have to jump into conclusions and say oh my gosh look at this he or she they spoiled my day completely and now I'm in a bad mood and everything went to cast it. It doesn't have to happen because you are in control, you are aware, your super conscious is booming away and two things have to always align. What is the goal for the day for you and what you're feeling right now and all your beliefs have to match. So for example, if some person comes your way and takes a completely different direction yeah. and this person is for example upset or is trying to spoil your day or is trying to involve you into their own unhappiness instead of judging them maybe there is a moment where you can contribute with all the knowledge you have and all the goals that you have in plan and all your beliefs you can contribute to their situation for example I have friends um, in my life 
that make a call to me and I'm on the mission. I'm on the mission from the very beginning of the day. I know what I want. I know everything have to realign my body goals, my mind goals. I'm on the mission. I'm doing something, you know, the bigger picture is bigger picture. And for me, for 720 minutes, it has to be completely perfect my way, how I want it. And here's the person comes into my way, you know, and it's trying to pour all this negativity and you know how people are talking about things and stuff like that and they are upset, genuinely upset. So instead of judging them, you simply invest, you say, hey, actually, let's talk about this, you know, you shift their direction completely because they were focusing on something completely negative, they were talking about something completely negative and you just took them completely different way. You said, let's look at this let's talk about it how isn't it wonderful you know and like this you took them from their past and you moved it to some other past maybe make them dream about something better or focus on something better instead of solving that problem but for example the person persists on the problem and takes you there again and you have to talk about it you can make a very good assumption of how to look at it, you know, and which direction you have to take it. For example, if person complains about person and the incentive is, oh, this person is mean to me and what do we do about it? You can advise, well, what relationships you want with this person? Do you want wonderful relationships? Then let's focus on wonderful relationships. In the end of the day, everything comes in within you. You are the one who gave the energy and all the focus and attention towards the fault of that person. You are the one that makes it completely huge for yourself. So you are the one who can refocus on something better. For example, if person wants from other person some beautiful things, it has to focus on beautiful things. So your role is to focus on something absolutely unbelievably amazing and awesome. So this is how you do. For example, for all the parents out there, if you are focusing on bigger picture and we're talking about you are the creator, right? So if child comes into the room or it's a big child, you know, like I have two grown children. And of course, with other people in combination on your path, when you're trying to create something completely magnificent, they come with own little thing, you know, they all come with their own little thing and they are not 100% positive towards you, but you are the one who will empower this or disempower this towards you. So you're going to perceive it how you want to feel in the end. So if this person or a child or your, your, you know, your son or daughter come with negative things towards you or with their own things and just trying to mix with you, your role is very simple. You're going to inspire them, take a different path, as simple as that. Or if you want something from them and you want to motivate them towards something, the only positivity can take someone somewhere because you can only encourage someone to change their path as opposed to force them to do it, you know? So it's better to inspire people and you can use your creativity and that's why creativity is so important. You are the creator, you are the master and you're going to do it. As Neville Goddard said, and I quote, if I am hurt, I am self-hurt. If it is darkness and depression in my world, you created it. There is light and joy in your world, you created it. And he also says here, your I amness makes you and everything around you, your world is a grand mirror that reflects who you are as you meet people, they tell you by their behavior who you are. And that's what Neville God said. And he was a magnificent metaphysician that completely revised his life. And he insisted on revising things towards people, towards things that upset you, you can always revise it. And he was a master of it. There is also a magnificent metaphysician, Florence Kovashin, who wrote a book about the game of life and how to play it. So everything is the game and you are the one who makes rules on it and you're the one who is making your game 
and you're the one who is empowering or disempowering things and people in it. So you're the creator and you're the one who is making difference in your internal world, who is who and what things are. So moving on towards the fifth aspect of your internal world powers, your magic wand is your observation. It is actually your magic wand because how you observe things is how you going to feel about it. And the feeling is the secret, you know? The feeling is the secret because as I said before, how you feel is how your internal world is and what is external and when you come outside and you talk to people and you mix with different environments this is how you're going to reflect on that world with your observation with your powers with your creativity with your moods with your mindset you're going to reflect and people and things they are going to just react to how you're doing it this is your observation that makes everything happens. If you observe something being amazing, it is so. And if you observe something being terrible and miserable, it is so too. You are the truth maker. You are the one who gives it a color, a sound, a taste, a smell, a memory. You are the one who makes it happen. You are the creator of your observation and this is your magic this is your magic this is a real magic because that makes you feel either amazing ecstatic or miserable and unhappy and this is where work and control come to place and you're the one who can give it a power and energy and you're the one who can take power and energy out of it because what you're thinking and saying and doing is impressing your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is your automobile it is your car it is your car it's going to drive you exactly where you're going to direct it your navigation is your consciousness and super consciousness gives it speed and energy and this is how your car is going to drive you because your car is built in a very strong way it's got all the parts to it that make that car being strong and beautiful carrier for you this is your train this is your automobile this is your car and you in it is a director and creator your creator is your super consciousness and your director is your consciousness you know you're going to direct it and you are going to give it a good destination where to arrive and this is exactly how it's going to happen and this is your magic wand you are the one who is going to tell your car where to drive you and your car is going to take you exactly there so all you have to do really is become a director of your car dictated where to go and it is going to take you there isn't it amazing so it's better be somewhere amazing to go you can make it amazing baby you are the master of your personal reality and your reality is what you say and think it is so moving on to the next aspect of our internal world powers is you are actually powerful you are powerful your power is your imagination and what is imagination actually is as dr joe dispenser said imagination is imagination imagination it's a huge sharing tool is your vision being spread out is being projected you know whatever your vision is is shared it gave you these feelings and emotions is a massive powerful tool and i know not a lot of people can use that tool because we are not all built the same way as we all know we all categorize to several perception modes some are kinesthetic some are visual some are auditory perceivers and this is how it is you know we are not meant to be all the same but we definitely can learn how to do it you know some people perceive the best throughout the auditory channel some are the best 
to be perceiving through their feelings and some perceive through their visual tools. But you can always learn how to do it. You can always, you know, acquire these qualities. Like for example, me, I always thought that I was a um, big visualization person, but I am not actually. For me, imagine something, I have to involve different things. So for me to imagine something, I have to also hear things. I have to access my kinesthetic, you know, perception receptors and, you know, go into my memories of how I felt about something. And then everything together will give me a clear picture. But I have to practice all the time to marry all those three things together. So what imagination actually does? Imagination is when your thoughts are projected into the vision. So it's like a screen. In other words, your super consciousness is your DVD. It's a cassette that you select. Whatever you think or say is the information that you're trying to play. This is your super consciousness. It's extremely powerful. Your subconsciousness, however, it is a DVD player. It's a device on which you're going to play it on. It's like a car. I told you it's a car. It's a little device. So it plays the record that you put in. So you selected the record. It's your super consciousness. It's your thought or your say. Whatever you're saying all the time, whatever you're thinking all the time is the record that you are playing. And what's playing it is your subconsciousness. It's a device. It's a DVD player. What is your consciousness? And your consciousness is a TV screen. It's a big TV screen. It's your observer. It allows you to express it now. So subconsciousness is your DVD player that plays the cassette. And your cassette is the selected DVD record that you are playing. And this is how it all comes to place. The power of it is built out of three things. Your decision, what to play, your good DVD player, and your ability to be aware and express it. These three things give you power of things to be delivered to this world. It comes from you. You are making a delivery from your internal to the external through your projector. Now, through your awareness, through your ability to express, you are delivering it. You are sharing the picture. How do we do it? Create the picture you want. You know, you have created it. This is your DVD. This is your record. You say, I exist. I exist gives you an immense power. I am. I exist. This is my power, you know. I make things happen. I exist. I am aware. I am able to express it. I am aware. I can apply passion to it, the energy, you know. And I create. I am the one who is doing it right now. I am the creator. I am powerful. And this is how things happen. You make a right selection of the record. You acknowledge and give powers to your ability to do it. I am the creator. I am going to create this. I am creating this. And you just create it. And you do pendulum. You loop it and loop it and loop it over and over again. And this is how things happen in your internal world. You are making your own internal reality. Your internal personal reality creates your personality. It changes you. It changes you every minute, 720 times a day. It creates you. Six thoughts per minute make your record, you know. And if you loop it over and over again, of course, you cannot loop it for 720 minutes. I am going there. I'm going to achieve this. I'm practicing it every day. And I'm getting better and better at it every day, you know. Not only for myself, also for people that surrounding me. I'm trying to share it. There are people in my life that come to me, you know, with this, that, and everything, everything, everything. And I'm trying to impress, you know, I'm impressing myself doing that, impressing myself. Every day I'm practicing things for me, 
and by doing so I'm also sharing my projector my screen TV is in front of other people as well you know for example today was a situation where you know my co-worker and she came along she's like oh somebody got you know sick and you know viruses around it's winter right now and all this and there's no way you could avoid it somebody sitting with the virus you're going to get it and I'm like no this is not true this is not true I think I see that the table with a person with a virus in there and I go I am unbeatable I'm so strong like I emit this incredible energy I'm completely protected I'm like emitting this all these antibacterial things and nothing gets to me you know this is my this is my ethos this is how how I put myself into that bench with the person with viruses and this is what I think about my personal reality is that I am surrounded by this amazing diamond shield that everything bounces against it and never gets to me. I am completely protected and this is how I'm going to take it. And she laughed at me and she's like, oh yeah, you know. But that's how we do it, baby. This is how we do it. Our internal world impresses external world. And this is how it works. You are powerful, extremely, extremely powerful, not the other way around. External world cannot come and slam you. If you are strong inside, nothing can get you, you know, nothing can get you. You are powerful. So coming back to that little formula, you create the picture you want. You say, I exist. I am aware. I create. You just step into that picture you created and you acknowledge this is already done. That record was created already. It's done. You have selected it. You are playing it. You are what you have selected. You got it. You got what you want and it's done. It's done. You are powerful. Everything you do, you do yourself. Everything you decide for yourself, you selected it because you know it's great. And you are playing it and it's done and believe in what it is done and your constant pendulum about it will impress your subconsciousness will make your car drive you to the destination you want to be at and it's going to take you there this is as simple as that you're powerful that's it finish moving on to the seventh aspect of your internal powerful world and how it impresses your external world is Make it your essence. It flows in your veins as a fluid, magic fluid, and it makes everything, everything possible in your world. Everything is possible in your world. You are the creator. You've done all the things yourself. You selected them for yourself. You selected your personal reality. You play in it. Your pendulum is your essence, your pendulum looping looping over and over again makes it your fluid it flows you know and it makes you beautiful inside out and you are reflecting it on your external world as simple as this and remember again and again and again everything you give attention time and energy will grow and everything is your time, attention, and energy you take out of will dissipate and diminish inside. You give creation to things you want. When you take creation out of it, your attention, your time, your energy, and it disappears. Disappears completely. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Because you decide what exists and you decide what doesn't. You're the master. You're the creator of your internal world. And you make things possible in your world. And by practicing it all the time, by looping it over and over again, you create pendulum. It's like tick-tock, tick-tock. It's like a clock. It's a mechanism. This is your machine. Your machine can do whatever you tell that machine to do. Your car is going to drive you exactly where you ask it to drive you. And it's going to do it perfectly. And guess what? If you practice it every day, you will do better and better and better again. You are the one who makes things possible in your personal, internal, 
powerful, awesome, beautiful, magical world, baby. Whatever you decide on your path, you want and you put your mind to, you focus on, will fruit, will multiply, will grow and will give you profit. What you practice on, make it better and better still. Gets better every day if you practice on it. You are the master of your selections and you are the only one who decides what to select. All you have to do is choose nice and wonderful magical DVDs to play. And your subconscious mind, your automobile, your car will play it. It will play it. It will just drive you there. You play it all the time, over and over again. And it will insert new circuits into your mind and it will drive you right to your destination. Your body will always listen to your direction and your subconscious mind, which is your body, which is a powerful, beautiful machine that is going to take you there. Your subconscious mind is your computer and it will play your record and it will take you where you want to go. It will play your program. It is always listening to you and always ready to take instructions from you. It will do exactly what you ask it to do. So make your world nice. It is your personal world, your personal reality. It makes your personality. It is inside of you. It is right here. All you have to remember is that you are in charge. You are in control of it. You are a master and you are the creator. You are the president of your own country, which is your body and your mind, and you rule it. And you rule it how you want it. So let's go, baby. Let's make our internal world magical and powerful machine. Thank you for watching my video. I'm very excited that I can share with you my knowledge. And I'm really looking forward to see you next time. I love you. I care about you. You matter. You matter. And you make your internal world awesome. See you next time. Yeah!